Alright, this is the G-Dog 1999, and today I have a trick for you, it's for Vioz's con 32's contest number 4, and it's also for, uh, I would like to thank No Magician for this deck, he sent it to me because I want to give away, he's awesome, go ahead and check out his channel. Alright, now, as I was thinking of this contest, I thought, I need to fool Vioz, because he knows a lot of slides and, thing and things like that, you know. Um, should I do a sandwich routine? Should I do what not? Whatever, whatever I was going to do, I had to come up with it fast. So I decided to do a combination of all of them. I, I, said, I said that the spectator might select a card, such as the Ace of Spades. Okay? Then what would happen is the Ace of Spades would be put actually in the middle of the deck. Okay? And then just like that, the magician, the basic magician, would spread out the cards and show that the Ace of Spades is in the middle. But obviously most people absolutely know how that trick's done. So how do you fool a magician? Moving on, um, the magician might take some cuts and whatnot, and might split the deck into three parts. And he knows that this is the Ace of Spades, he also knows that this is the Ten of Clubs, and he also knows that this is the Ten of Diamonds. But how do you fool the magician? As I got into theory behind cards, I realized how many different things I could do for this trick. For instance, I could make the selected card come out of the box, or if I wanted to, I could take the cards and perform a flourish, like a civil cut. But is this really magic? Is it? Is it magic to take a sandwich routine that everybody knows and put a little spin on it that makes it a little bit different? Is it magic to do a color change depending on how basic it is or if it's more advanced? What is a magician fuller? Can anyone tell me? I kept thinking, what if you could take cards and make them disappear? It's still not a magician fuller. Now what if you could make them reappear out of thin air? It's still not a magician fuller. I kept thinking, how could I fool the VOZ32? And this, this started stumping me. I said, maybe if I use a flashy deck of cards, he might think that I'm more professional. But really, that doesn't do anything. No matter how good you are, the only real way to win a contest is to manipulate the cards the best that you can. So that's what I decided to do for my trick. And as you can see, I have been manipulating all the cards the entire time. Ace or King of Spades, Diamonds, Clubs, and Hearts. So that's my trick. Uh, remember to check out the contest. Remember to check out Num Magician. He's awesome. He gave me a deck of cards. It's like an expensive deck of cards. I really have to thank him for that. Um, yeah, so thanks. Uh, see you next time.